if your job is to try to be the best basketball player you can be, mm -hmm. right? To do that, you have to practice, you have to train, right? You want to train as much as you can, as often as you can. So if you get up at 10 in the morning, train at 11, right? 12, say 12, train at 12, train for two hours, 12 to two. Um, you have to let your body recover. So you eat, recover, whatever. You get back out, you train, start training again at six. Train from six to eight, right? And now you go home, you shower, you eat dinner, you go to bed, you wake up, you do it again, right? Those are two sessions, right? Now imagine you wake up at three, you train at four. You go four to six, come home, breakfast, relax, so, so, blah, blah, blah. Now you're back at it again, nine to 11, right? You relax, and now all of a sudden you're back at it again, two to four, and now you're back at it again, you know? seven to nine, look how much more training I have done by simply starting at four, all right? And so now you do that, and as the years go on, the separation that you have with your competitors and your peers just grows larger and larger and larger and larger and larger. And by year five or six, doesn't matter how, what kind of work they do in the summer, they're never gonna catch up, because they're five years behind. <laughs> right? So it makes sense to get up and start your day early because you can get more work in. Yo, what's good? Today we're here to talk about and break down the three work system. Let's dive into it. Now, before we get started on breaking down what the three work system is, we have to be aware of the fact that Kobe and his work ethic is probably the most elite of the elite, but also at the same time, he had access to different resources than the average middle schooler, high schooler, or college player has access to. So yes, we might want to be able to train nine times a day, but don't forget some of us might have school, some of us might have to go to work. Also at the same time, Kobe had access to elite sports medicine training staff to where he could get all different kinds of recovery tools and training protocols so he was able to build his body to withstand that crazy schedule. Just because we may not have access to the tools and resources that Kobe had, that doesn't mean we can't get better at a high pace. And this is where the three work system comes into place. Huge shout out to Drew Hamlin. He's one of the best trainers in the world and I got this idea from him. So the three work system is work hard, work smart, and work consistent. Most of all of us do a version of one of these. For example, we might work hard, but we might not work smart enough or consistent enough. The best way to train is to combine all three of them. And this is how you lay out your plan to get better. So like I said earlier, you might not be able to train five or eight times a day like Kobe, but you might be able to get in two good sessions. Now with those sessions, you have to stay consistent. So that might look like five days a week, Monday through Friday, you train once at six o'clock in the morning and then once in the evening at five. You can do this for maybe three or four months. And then when your season hits, you might have to change up your routine. But whatever you have, you now have your consistency piece down. The next piece is to look at working smart. Don't just go into the summer doing random cone drills where you have no end goal in mind. You should be going into it thinking this whole summer or this whole training session time that I've laid out, I'm going in to get better at a certain skill. Maybe that's catch and shoot shooting. And this is what you're gonna work on for the entire time while also touching up on your strengths too. You should be looking to add one to two things to your game every summer. If you're a slasher, think about adding in maybe a mid-range pull-up, or if you can already shoot, focus on getting a better handle and being able to finish around the rim with different types of finishes for when the defense tries to run you off the line. This way, you can continue to add to your game every year, and like Kobe said, in five years, there's no way your competition can keep up with you because you've just been adding and adding and adding every year at a consistent pace. Lastly, you have to work hard. Now working hard doesn't mean go overboard on every single rep. If you're working on your standstill catch and shoot shot, there's no need to rush or be out of control. But that also doesn't mean going to the gym and be shooting without focus or shooting shots that don't benefit you. Go into the gym and give the correct amount of effort that is needed. That means if it's time to go out and sprint, you go out and you sprint your hardest. Don't jog. If there's one consistent thing in life is that life always changes. So it's gonna come a time where your routine has to flip. You might be graduating from high school and going to college. So now you might have more spare time on your hands so you can either take away more sessions or add in more sessions. But whatever it is, you have to be ready to adjust and you can implement the three work system at any time. So remember, work hard, work smart, and work consistent.